Shalom everybody and today we're going to be checking out how to trade the Nasdaq 100 or a better way to put this how to increase your accuracy when it comes to analyzing the Nasdaq 100 and also if you're interested in learning how to trade take the free 4 hour course down in the description if you're interested in algorithmic trading as in learning how to create a forex robot for yourself then please take the algorithmic course or if you're looking for a programmer i can program your expert advisor for you just hit me up on my whatsapp and my email now first things first is that you need to know what the nasdaq is because many of you are just jumping into things that you don't really understand the nasdaq is actually a compilation a combining of the top 100 technology companies in the united states now with this definition in mind the way that you can increase your nasdaq 100 accuracy is if you go to the nasdaq website and and you actually type in the top 10 constituents of the nasdaq 100 index what does this mean we are basically going to be boosting our nasdaq analysis by finding out what are the top 10 biggest movers of the nasdaq so i want you to think of it like this Nasdaq is moved by a hundred companies and out of those hundred there are 10 specific companies that actually have the biggest percentage in the movement of the Nasdaq. Not all of them move the Nasdaq equally. We are going to be not only analyzing the Nasdaq 100 chart but we're also going to be analyzing the top 7 or the top 10 biggest contributors to the Nasdaq in order to strengthen which direction that the Nasdaq will move in. Now I want you to look at this chart right here. This is actually the representation of the weighted index of the top 20 companies within the Nasdaq. From this graph we can see that the top 5 or the top 6 biggest movers of the Nasdaq are mainly number 1 Apple which has a 10% hold. Imagine Apple itself alone has a 10% weighting of where the Nasdaq is going to move next. If Apple goes down, the Nasdaq will also be shaken by that. Not only that, but we also have Microsoft coming closely second at 9,1%. So if both the Apple and the Microsoft, right, holding equally a 20% share of the Nasdaq alone, these two stocks alone, if they go down, trust me, the Nasdaq will also go down. It will also be influenced by the top biggest guys inside the Nasdaq. So here's what I do. I don't take just Apple and Microsoft, but I take these following companies. I take Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook and Tesla which are the biggest move movers of the Nasdaq and at certain times I take Nvidia as well but once I have these five and six type of stocks I'm pretty much set so now having this information in mind you can now analyze the Nasdaq differently I want you to look at this right here for a second right uh, this is the Nasdaq chart right and then over here we have the meta chart this is Facebook's new name meta when you look at the meta chart and the nasdaq chart what's the difference do you see that facebook had a period this was during its name change by the way when it began to change its name it began to lose investors i think i don't know what was happening here <coughs> but then it did this inc um, excuse me by the way i'm sick <laughs> i'm very very sick i have the flu and this entire move right here was also recorded in the nasdaq as well this move started november 2021 and then it ended around november 2022 same thing here this started november 2021 and it ended around november 2022 and then it began moving up just as the facebook is now moving up do you see how you could have also predicted this if you could if you if you could have analyzed both these charts not only that but when we move to the apple and the microsoft as well you can actually get a sense of where the nasdaq can most likely be I'm ready to move up again as you can see we are currently in a dip on the nasdaq if we go down lower to the h4 time frame we are currently at, at a dip for the nasdaq and i know they always say buy the dip and all that but when will it exactly turn around that's what we want to know so analyzing on different charts can actually help you to see support and resistance that you wouldn't have seen elsewhere <coughs> for example some might say that there's a there's a support right there but then that support has already been broken, right? Not much information here on the NASDAQ because the next support, right, will be somewhere down there. But on the Apple, right, you can actually see that the NASDAQ 
is at a current interesting zone right here it's currently at an interesting area right here possible for another turnaround now is this enough information for us to say that the nasdaq is is done dipping i don't think so now for the microsoft right and this is where things actually get very interesting is that microsoft has not really reached this level of in, of, of interest here this level of support there's an interesting area on zone right there it has not yet fully reached that little area so i'm still expecting the nasdaq to go much lower because of this analysis i actually believe that according to the microsoft right it's still gonna go a bit lower and then for the apple as well i believe that it's still gonna deep dip a bit deeper into this zone but you can still increase this with google now alphabet makes up one of the biggest percentages in the nasdaq right because google alphabet is actually split up into two there's google b and google c making the entirety of alphabet right now in google <coughs> now in google b right now in the first google as you can see here it says google that's the first one and then there's another one that says google with an l there at the end from this first chart you need to analyze both if you want this to if you want to be most accurate in this right now remember already we have analyzed um that the nasdaq is going to continue going down and now we can prove this and stamp this further with the third biggest constituent of the nasdaq with the third with the third biggest major contributor into the nasdaq which is the amazon and look at this this is so interesting the nasdaq is currently telling us that it has reached a very serious resistance <coughs> this right here is a very powerful resistance further i'm stamping our idea of a sell happening to the nasdaq there is no private analysis this is what i believe i really believe that um that amazon is gonna continue shooting down and you can also strengthen this with the news you know amazon news you can go and and type what's gonna be happening with amazon in the in the coming few months you know you can also combine that with what's gonna be happening with the apple and the microsoft obviously if apple is gonna release a new iphone very soon as they always do you need to also take that into consideration if microsoft is gonna invest in something big like the chat gpt soon you should also take that into consideration coupling this with fundamentals will actually make your nasdaq analysis bulletproof but then just from support and resistance alone <coughs> we can already strengthen the fact that the nasdaq is con is going to continue selling and that's what i believe it's going to keep going lower now here's the last um secret into this you can go ahead and and analyze the the, the tesla by yourself you can analyze the N nvidia but at least i gave you an understanding of the strategy and how it works combine all the charts then go combine it with the fundamental news of what's happening right there right now then draw your support and resistance and do your analysis combine it with whatever indicators you're already using at the time find a good entry signal in the lower time frames me i analyze on the daily time frames because that's where the money is that's where the real traders at daily is the one analyze from the daily then go to the h4 find an entry in the lower time frames it's up to you that one is just f pure technical analysis i'll get down into that another time but here's the last bit of piece of information i want to give to you and this is my own personal <coughs> um strategy never ever ever sell the nasdaq and i must say this time and time again we do not sell the nasdaq if you want to lose your money look for selling opportunities in nasdaq when i see an analysis like this i'm perfectly fine i'm perfectly stress-free to stay away from the nasdaq for a good three weeks i can stay away from the nasdaq for three weeks and not even think about it that's another thing you need to master as a trader controlling that libido controlling that urge to always be on the market Sit, sit this one out because right now we're not seeing any any upward moves just as yet sit it out brother it's not gonna look good never ever sell the nasdaq and the reason why i say this is because nasdaq don't forget it's the top 10 it's the top 100 technology companies do you ever see technology getting out of fashion <laughs> like people will never go like hey man i wish this device would be much harder like smartphones are so easy and understandable and simple you know like technology is just making life so simple i wish life was harder again it's never gonna happen these top 100 companies guess what chances of them continuing going up are very high these are going to continue moving so the nasdaq is always gonna keep moving up this is what i want to show you right now 
if we go to the monthly chart of the Nasdaq, right? Historically, the odds are against you if you're looking to sell the Nasdaq. Look at this. Look at this, bro. This, this is actually proof that Nasdaq will never fall and you should definitely be staying away from sales. Do you, do you know when the Nasdaq began to sell? This was around COVID. This was around that time in which technology companies had a huge blow. And what are the odds that another global pandemic will come into existence? Slim, very, very slim. So please only be looking to buy the Nasdaq. This current dip that's happening, look what it looks like on the monthly time frame. It's just a little red candlestick. Me, I don't sell the Nasdaq. I'm only looking to buy. And this is where you should be as well. The smart money is buying. So please sit this one out and wait for a buy. But as for me, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this really helped you. And I hope that you hit that subscribe and like button for all this free information. If you're interested in finding out more free knowledge and more free education and more deeper secrets like these in everything that you do, always bad love out there. Be honest, be truthful. Um, I love you guys so much. Peace and shalom. Редактор